Hello guys and girls, Raj here, back with another video. My beard has taken over my face. It's going crazy. Look at this. It's like, it's like growing everywhere. So I'm gonna go to my barber and get control of this situation. Uh, however, this part a question in me. How does facial recognition technology works? Like if I go to an airport and you know all those cameras with facial recognition technology there, um, can it recognize me? Can it associate uh, my face uh, with this uncontrollable, unruly beard and a pretty bad uh, hair uh, with a picture of me with no beard uh, and a different haircut? What if I show up like this? Can it still recognize me? And if I up the ante, uh, what if 15 years younger me walks to that camera. Can it still associate 15 years younger me with the current me? So that's a challenge. Uh, so all right, so in this video, I wanted to uh, test it out. So AWS has its own facial recognition technology. Uh, so we're gonna put that to test and see if it, if it stands out uh, with, with all these uh, images. Okay, let's find out. The AWS service we are going to use for this is Amazon Recognition. The cool thing about Amazon Recognition is uh, you don't need to have a PhD or any kind of degree in mathematics uh, to do this machine learning. It is all point and click uh, API driven. So with Amazon Recognition, you can identify objects, people, text, scenes, uh, detect inappropriate content, uh, facial analysis and facial search uh, you can uh, compare faces and you can do uh, much more. Uh, so you can see some of the public reference are NFL, CBS, National Geographic, etc. Okay, so let's jump into console and see how it can help us do the facial recognition. So this is the Amazon recognition console. Uh, okay, so let's click try demo. Uh, so let's go to facial analysis. It shows a sample image and the analysis output. It says looks like a face, appears to be female, age range 17 to 29, smiling, appears to be happy wearing glasses. Uh, so you can see there's request and response for all this. So basically you can download the SDK and you can call this uh, facial analysis using an API and you will get this JSON back and you could save this in a database or uh, display it back on a screen or whatever you want. Okay, so uh, let's let's start having some fun. So let me upload one of my pictures. Okay, looks like a face, appears to be male, age range. Well, 23 to 37. I am older than this, but I will take it. <laughs> Not smiling, that's good, appears to be calm. Uh, do I appear to be calm? Okay. Uh, wearing glasses and then wearing sunglasses and then it gives you a bunch of other stuff. Okay, so this uh, this is cool. This is cool. Okay, let's go to the next tab. Celebrity uh, recognition. So this detects if there's a celebrity in the picture. So let me upload another picture. Can you guys tell who the bigger guy is? He is the mountain from Game of Thrones. Uh, I ran into him in uh, reInvent and he was pretty nice to take a picture with me. Uh, so, okay, so actually see it can detect that as well. Haftar Julia's Beyonce. Uh, so if you click it, it's probably gonna open the IMDB or Wikipedia or something. Okay, so uh, it properly detected him. Okay, now the fun part, the facial comparison. So in this one, it can compare uh, two faces in different images and tells you uh, how much percentage match there is between the faces. Okay, let's see. Let me upload uh, two of my pictures. So you can see the similarity is 98.4%. So it basically says, uh, yeah, they are the same face. See, the beauty is even though one picture does not have beard and shorter hair and the other picture has a beard and kind of a longer hair, uh, it is still able to match it, right? It, because it uses facial vector uh, analysis. Uh, so it's pretty cool. So you can see the request and response. Uh, so again, uh, so if you guys use Amazon Photos or Google Photos and in those apps, 
uh, you can search by a face, right? So uh, you can select a face and tell the Google Photos or Amazon Photos that get the uh, get all the pictures uh, with this face, and then it does it. So in the back end, this is the kind of technology they are using. Uh, so if you think about it, uh, you can use this as well. Since you don't have to understand the machine learning and complex algorithm, you can just upload pictures, save them, and as soon as a new picture comes in, uh, you can call the facial comparison using the API and then get the results. Because if you see uh, the response, uh, face matches, similarity is 98.4, and you can see the confidence is 99.99%. Now the real test, I'm uploading my picture uh, from like 16, 17 years back. I know I look like a creep on my older picture with this shiny gold watch and in this creepy uh, moustache. But hey, that was 16 years back, okay? Uh, I don't have that creepy moustache anymore. Okay, it passes. So it says these faces are same. Similarity is 94.1%. Uh, so once you have an image and even if like years passes, uh, you can still you can still use that as, as a reference uh, to compare the older pictures. And uh, the last thing that I wanted to show you is a text in image. Uh, so if you upload a picture which has text in it, uh, like this image, you can see it can extract uh, the texts. Uh, so if you think about it, this is pretty powerful, right? So if you're thinking about making your own photo app, uh, you could do all that and maybe release it in App Store and become famous. So all the stuff that we did using console, uh, you can uh, do that using code. So basically you can download the SDK and you can see there are different languages that support it. Uh, so pretty straightforward really, because at the end of the day, it's just API calls. AWS does all the heavy lifting for you. All right, I'm back from the barber. Uh, so I think it was time for the beard to go. I had fun with it for the last uh, four months. It will probably be back uh, next winter. Uh, but for now, fresh again. Hopefully you guys and girls uh, like this video. Hopefully it gave you little ideas about how to make your own uh, photo app. Please like and subscribe if you like the content in my channel. I'll see you guys and girls in the next video. Bye.